wanted to talk to you. Rolling into the new year, we're going to add the 365 days of healing to our reading. It's by Mark Brzee. Um, I'm also going to be doing another audio um, Bible. I'm just going to roll over from the chronological. I don't think I'll do a chronological next year. Um, but it's daily audio Bible. I will share that with you. I'll have to take a picture of it because it's on my phone, which is what I'm using to record this. Um, yes, I have a pillow covering me to kind of, you know, and yes, this is a pillow. Just so, you know, this was my dad's pillow and it's special to me. So I just kind of use it as often as I can for whatever reason. Um, sometimes I just have it laying next to me, but anyway, um, we will read through. Um, God will use this for your good. Um, we will read through. You'll get through this with the study guide. I think I've done it before. I meant to get a hard copy of this. I had a hard copy before, I think. Um, I can't remember because it's been so many years ago. Um, I love this book. I love this book. It is so good. Um, I, I had this during the, the times that my dad was, the time that my dad was sick, and it helps me tremendously. I ended up giving it to one, one of his sisters, and I just recently bought me a, a, a physical copy. I have it on my Kindle. Um, we will be reading through, and by we, I mean me. I may read some of it to you, but I don't, I, I haven't decided yet. This is the Max Licato. I just got this, so we're kind of hauling the, these last. This and this were my last book haul. It's They Walked With God. It's 40 Bible characters who inspire us. We're going to go through that. In the new year, along with doing the 365 days of healing added to our devotional reading, I'm going to add a year-long Bible study praying the names of God for 52 weeks and whether I record those or not still up in the air but that's what I'm going to be going through next year um, thought I would share them with you um, and if you if you want me if you want me to read them let me know in the comments I'd be more than happy to um, it's just a few minutes out of our day that we spend together that um, hopefully will send us off in a better on a better journey. Um, let me know also if you want more of the Jesus Calling uh, versus the other other Max Licato one, or if you want both, I can read both. It's not a big deal. Um, the Jesus Calling one I did notice, which is was kind of silly of me. Um, I have. Let me, um, I've got my book back right here that I'm pulling out. This is my NSB, NASB Bible that my mother got me and my sister while I was home the last time. We all have a copy of it and we're all supposed to be reading through it and I have not yet. Um, oh, sorry, I did not mean to hit the tripod. The Jesus Calling um, devotionals, I've noticed, I did not look at them before I started reading them, but they all have... One scripture that is in the devotional, this, and I'm just pulling one scripture that it is, and then and also read. Um, I have no problem doing that. And the other day, whenever I read it, I was like, oh, I don't know where my Bible is. Panic looking around. It's right here behind me on the shelf. It's generally always close. There's generally a copy of something close to me. Excuse me. Um, this one, this, my NSB is covered with one of my favorite scriptures. It is, the Lord is my strength and my shield. Psalms 28, 7. My trusty old, hang on. I've had this one, I've had this Bible for 18 years now and the cover my sister got me is God is with her 
she will not fail. Psalm 46, 5. And like I said, because there's always one close to me. This is from my teenage, well, no. I can't even see what name. No, oh, wait, this one is precious. This, uh, my mother-in-law bought me not long after we were married. Let me see if I can see, yeah. Uh, November 1990. Is when this was bought for me. Um, I have another one. No, it's this one that I bought. I bought myself for my 40th birthday out of my birthday money. Um, but yeah, there's there's a ways, and you can see the wear. Um, this is a small print. Um, there's memories in each one of my Bibles because there's where whatever church that I was in or at, whatever speaker spoke, um, you know, just, and it's being military, there's, you know, there's that, and the, where, where she had my name put on the front of it, it's worn off. So, Yeah. But anyway, I don't know why we just went and went down that road. But yeah, whenever I tell you that I don't know, it's generally because I'm panicking and not looking in the right spot. But I generally always have a copy of some type of version of the Bible close to me or on my phone. Then anyway, y'all have a good day. Don't know why we got into all that this morning, but there it is. Let me know because uh, if you... if Either way, it's I'm going to do something. So, if there's something that you are leaning towards, um, think you might like better, let me know so I make sure to do that. We also will be, of course, going into the Celebrate Recovery Bible. Uh, or not Bible, but um, devotional. I do have a Celebrate Recovery Bible. It is an NIV with commentary, and I like it. Um, we can pull that into our reads if you want to. Um, just let me know uh, if if it helps you, and it definitely helps me. We'll do it. Um, little nuggets, y'all have a great day. I love you oh so very much. I am the mayor's daughter. Uh, my first name is Vicky. If you prefer to call me Vicky, that's wonderful. Uh, that's what I've been called my whole entire life. Um, I use the mayor's daughter as an affectionate, loving nickname to honor my father. So y'all have a great day. See you. Bye.